everybody is by two pool and we definitely um, I'm out and I'm about I'm in the area of Providence we're here for a very special reason and the reason is uh, the Guyana National Stadium they're hosting well the Guyana National Stadium is not hosting but the government in collaboration with private uh, businesses are hosting their uh, building expo so I'm here and I'm a bit about it uh, for the main reason of I'm here to see the printer print a house have you ever heard that before a printer printing a house that's the only reason I'm here and I'm gonna go check that out I'm very upbeat about it I'm gonna show you what's happening here we're gonna walk around maybe we find some great food see some great people and at the same time I want to see that printer that is going to print this out so basically we're outside and we are going in now to the National Stadium at the building expo um, this is what it looks like from outside so a lot of people here already people in and out and when you come here you have to purchase a ticket of $300 which is very cheap to get inside so if you're coming to check this out um, this is the bus you have to come to and they are selling the tickets to get inside to the building expo so it's cheap and I recommend that you know people take full advantage of what's offering here Come inside now and see what's going on all right let's see how it goes Join me for this epic adventure. So we're heading in. It's a security checkpoint, which is very good, you see, so nobody can get in here with weapons. So it's safety for me, you and everybody else who's going in here. So you have a sanitation booth too. So we'll go right through this. And we're all clean and we're in the building expo guys I can hear uh, beautiful steel pan music in the background I'm sure you guys can hear it too are we gonna check that out first? with GBTI because I can see they have GBTI on their steel pan and they sound very beautiful amazing stuff coming out of the building expo this looks really unique too my humble apologies just now my um, recording device just uh, fell to pieces so excuse the little bit that you're gonna see with the flip-flop there so my kids are taking pictures so this is our new motto here in Guyana one Guyana one Guyana simply means we are one people one nation one destiny we must stick together and we must be one and unite as one um, regardless of religion belief religious belief regardless of culture we are one Guyana I don't know where we're going
gonna find this sprinter and the sprint in this house, but we will find it. We will find it. So this is a beautiful piece from Guy America. Check this out. So this is made in Guyana by Guy America Furniture. And it's a beautiful piece. So this would look nice in my backyard. You know what? I didn't give you guys a 360 of what's happening. I'm gonna give you a 360 of what's happening. And this is just a part of the building expo. We are like barely into it. We're gonna head into Guyana 2030. Let's see what Guyana 2030 has to offer. This is a uh, moving into the future. So we feel like I'm in another world along by itself here. Including the indigenous livelihood that is the bedrock of our eco tourism. The prediction is Ghana in 2000 new homes by 2025. By 2024, we'll have close to 1500 new homes given seven hotels are starting this year. When you go wrong, you can see that and see this change in the same block. And welcome to that great of Ghana, is one that is the brightest in the world. Uh, we do the heat growth of transport investing in Kenya. So we're going to exit the future of Guyana. I mean, if you want it in more details, you have to come here and you can watch a little show they have on the TV and it's going to educate you on what are the plans and what are the execution and how they're going to execute it for 2030 moving forward, Guyana. So we just exit Guyana 2030 and we're outside. I think this is a take out pictures. This is who? Oh, so I, I think, I think all of these people are coming to Guyana as in the sense of chains of different hotels. So you have the Marriott on the end there, Trini Guyana, uh, Blue Bridge Inn, all of these are slated for um, developing uh, development for Guyana this is one called courtyard you have eight in there and then you have uh, Sir investment Guyana in that is another one so you see all these buildings on these poster they're all slated to come to Guyana I would think this is a go invest uh, Guyana office of investment yeah this is go invest boot So we're still hunting for that printer. We're looking for that printer. I don't know which part in here that printer is. So I'm gonna go find that printer. It's like a big fun fair here. That is how it looked. You got like uh, e networks here, um, GTNT, Digicel, Palm Court. Go invest. Uh, so much happening here. So my kids are gonna get balloons from E Networks. Uh, I would think it's helium balloons. So they're just stuff for kids. What about the stuff for adults? Anything free for the adults? No suki suki. No suki suki. Thank you, sir. So my kids got balloons and they're very happy about it. Uh, the Ministry of Labor also came out today and they're participating, which is very uh, good. I mean, if anybody have any concern or have any question, they can come and address them here. And I'm sure they have other things they're offering. <coughs> So 
So this is uh, Guyana Shore Base Ink. All these are, um, I think they're related with the oil company and the oil industry. Gyp Gypsy. Of course, you have to have GBTI here too, if you want a loan. I guess you can sign up right here and get your loan. St. Lucia. I don't want to go into too much details to see what all the boots are offering directly. I'm just here to see who are here and all who are uh, participating. So if you guys want to check it out, I hope some of you already have checked it out and people are still coming to check it out in details. I'm not going to do in details. I just want to see who's present and I'm here to see the printer printer house. That is my main goal here today. Maybe get some food too. Our Beeson window is here too, which is um, of course in collaboration with housing because they're doing windows and a whole lot of things. See if one waste management is present for construction uh, removal of waste and you know, present. So that's a question, why is Palm Court here? And again, I don't want to get into details what these boots have to offer because they're going to be too lengthy and too drawn out. Uh, this look like a ready-made unit AJM Enterprise I would think they are specialized in ready-made units I don't want to go in there again to find out in details so this um, look like local manufacturers uh, local um, designers and local everything else here so they have a boot for themselves a whole um, tent for themselves in other words I can see plants I can see um, I would assume local design clothing I can see uh, local design neckwear and so much, so much more. And these are made out of a, a thing called Kialabash here in Guyana. And they're very beautiful. Ah, this look very unique in its own way. Sorry. Yeah. Hey, what's up, good afternoon. Yeah. What direct? Beautiful building. So, so I would like to give my speech right here. And there we have Mr. and Mistress Alglu right here, the biggest custom brokerage Hi. company in Guyana. Hello. Well recognized and up to all ISO standards. So I recommend these guys. <coughs> so we're back here in the local booth. And check check this out, wow. These are beautiful. When you're done with the rum, when the rum done, those are some unique words too. Thank you. So I'm happy I'm in here and I'm seeing a lot of uh, Guyanese local art and craft. And I'm quite pleased with what I'm seeing. Our flora and fauna. They're so easy on the eye. They're well made and they're neat. That is a wooden sculpture of a Guyana map. Look beautiful. What kind of art is that? Portrait art. Portrait art. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, 
so it's a learning experience at the same time too for me i didn't know that so i just found out that it's portrait art so i'm learning a lot also today <clears throat> so we're out of that um, tent and boot and I'm still looking for the printer so I was just directed to the printer that I came here so eagerly to see and so beat to see and I'm finally here and I'm gonna see it here now this is what you call um, technology at its best So this is the printer guy, CXL Solution Inc. And that is it there. And I don't know if you're gonna catch it in action or not. So basically that there can print you a whole house. A state of the art. No, that's not it. They printed a piece. Look at the bottom there. So it already printed a piece. I don't know when they're gonna fire it up so we can have a little uh, action or show time. Oh, they're gonna fire it up apparently. We're here on time. Mr. Maraj, how are you, sir? Hello. So that's my good friend, Mr. Kamal Maraj in there. Maybe I can go ask to get a little VIP entrance. Who knows? Let's see how it goes. So again, I reiterate this. This is the only, only main reason I came to Berlin Expo. And my friend probably can tell us a little bit about this equipment, where it's from, and what it can do. I'm all gonna educate us a bit here. Can you tell me a bit about this, Hi sir? guys, good afternoon. All right, so this is the 3D printing machine, as everybody would understand. Um, it's capable of printing a home uh, within 12 hours. So uh, when you say printing a home in 12 hours, what are we talking about size, in, in, the, in the aspect of size? How, how so big this, of a home? This is a 600 foot. 600 foot? Yeah. Okay, great, go ahead. Right. So basically, uh, it, you get your design, and we take it to the machine, enter your design, your blueprint, and the machine actually prints out your dream. So once you could dream it, the machine you will print, print it. You print it. Amazing. So tell me something. What material does this machine? So um, we're going to see how it works just now. They got some water there and so on, and we're going to jump into it, and hopefully we get it operational. So I'm, I'm in with the printer here, and I'm just walking around a bit. And I would think that is where they pour the cement and so on. And this is the uh, machinery behind it or the mechanism behind it. And they got a lot of gauges and, and GPM water and, you know, a lot going on. Um, so I'm going to just go uh, touch it and, and tell you, like, in my own words, what, what it feels like. So... So this feels very strong and this feels very, very good. And how, how much hours ago this was done? Uh, this was done yesterday afternoon. And this was done yesterday afternoon. Amazing. So this will be a big hit for Guyana. I'm telling you this. This is going to be huge, 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 huge in transformation Guyana. Transform, transforming Guyana. My apologies. So there you had it, guys. You saw it. I'm here. This is what I came for. And I got a bit of you know a quick preview of what's happening in it thank you guys enjoy right, thank you. yeah so i'm gonna head out now um because of bad weather and and they have um a little couple fine thing going on there they're not uh, able to fire up the machine uh, maybe i'm gonna miss it but you gotta get a glimpse of it and you see what it looks like and the whole idea about this it can print you a home using a special uh, concrete like material to give you a, a peek quick back of the machine that is it there and it printed that already and that's it you're good to go so we're going to walk around a bit now we had enough of the printer um, uh, sad enough we didn't get to see it, it actually functioning but um, you know we got to see it we got to see it and we got to see what it what it does so that's uh, very educational uh, thus far. Walk about right now, me and the crew. Hurry. Where's Chef? And he seemed to be very upset 
reason be he don't like to walk and his foot look tired. Oh, Nari also participate and I'm a big fan of um, organic uh, stuff in the sense of uh, growing our own food. Uh, they have a few things on display with fruit on it. <clears throat> I would assume that this is uh, some sort of sweet pepper, bell pepper. Bell pepper. And look how much on the tree already. So Nari is a company I think offer the plant and soil here in Guyana. And they sell it to the public also. You get a glimpse of Nari and some of the stuff they have. And we walkie walkie now because we already saw what we're here to see. <coughs> Stain masters are here. Partaking. And some Macal is also here, partaking. And I didn't know that they had a construction um, unit also, or a construction center. Landscaping persons are here too. Of course, Gafur had to be here. And the NS are here, they're um, with furniture and, and, and so on. So this is part of uh, building also. Became marine here in the sense of um, quarrying brick stone for building construction. So everyone is well set, uh, very unique in their own way, neat and well presented as in their presentation. So. I want to big up everybody who partake and big up to the presentation that they um, all put together like the teamwork to put all of this together it's amazing in all the fuss and all the fun I didn't notice um, anyway have food you know I'm, I'm a person I always be hungry oh they had food at the back and I miss it I miss it So it's all fun here and I hope you guys here came and partake and had your fun and found stuff that you find interesting and entertaining etc etc you know I'm not good with the big words and the steel pan I just love it those guys are you know um, so we're gonna enter another building that's our honorable uh, president of Guyana Mr. Irfan Ali uh, Colin Crow, Minister of uh, Water Housing, I think Susan uh, Rodriguez, she's within the uh, Housing and Water Ministry. We're going to head into this building, see what's happening in here. Geo Environment Support Services, uh, whatever that is, I don't know. Again, I'm not going to get into details. We'll just see who partake in here today. Advanced Concrete. Turgonal, the paint professional here in Guyana. So this is one of the number one used paint. When I say number one, used product as in painting and travel text, target text and so on, because they're quite affordable in the sense of um, of durability and, and withstand, I can't comment on that, but I know they're very affordable. Inside, so we're having a very clumsy day for me today again I hit the phone out of my hand or my recording device so I don't know what's happening maybe I'm, I'm dehydrated and I need some suki suki and that probably would balance out my feeling and all of this stuff that is happening so I'm gonna say again we're inside and it looked like we're in another world with all the boots here um, so much happening people all over uh, different businesses on show you know so much is happening again i'm not gonna get into detail we're just seeing who's partaking today and uh, that is what we're here for our second uh, reason why we're here you know my first reason for being here the printer that is why we came out so this is our second reason for being here 
to see who participates. Amazonia Mall is here, and I'm sure they have a flyer. Hi, how are you? Hi. You're fine? Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a specific flyer and business card, um, mobile thing. Oh, so yes, yeah, this it's is what right I'm here. looking for. So I'm, I'm gonna have a business card. I'm sure. So this is this card will enable me 10% discount on my uh, purchase, right? Yes. And the, is there a flyer also available? No, there is no flyer. flyer. So we also have Bad Monkey March. You get a 10% off when you shop at Bad Monkey March in oh, the Amazon. So if I if I take a hundred of those, can I multiply it by 10 and go do shopping? <laughs> no. No. I'm I'm trying to be smart, right? Thank you, guys. I'll take this too for now and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Ah, yeah. All right, cheers. Sorry, sorry, sir. Cheers, man. Yeah, cheers. smile, smile. So, again, we're here, we're inside and we're walking about. Plus, hungry, plus, thirsty, plus, dehydrated, and everything else. We have one. Spin that wheel. MMG GTNT is also here participating. And this is something I find quite amazing and amusing here. Uh, reason why I find this amusing because when I look at this, I'm seeing a lot of hard work. I'm seeing a lot of physical work. And I'm seeing a lot of time and dedication into this piece of art. So what I'm looking at there? We're looking at Kildred Arena and Lopuswood, Machine Carve. Oh, it's mach are, machine, like, carve. machine Carve. Machine Carve. Machine Carve. And what's the cost for that and the size of that? So the cost depends mostly on the species you want to use. So and what is the cheapest species? The cheapest species is the Kildred Arena over here. Kill a single door is going to run into What is the house. word? Kildred? Kildred Arena. So okay, that is new to me. No oh, nice. Right? This is the Kildred Locust. Locust? Yeah. Locust. And what's the cost for this roughly? Locust is 250000 The cost for the arena is 200000 And this is, this is what I want to ask you off the bat, right? I'm going to put you on the spot now. So you're telling me this one is how much? 250000 And this one is how much? 200000 And if I'm a customer mm -hmm. and I, I, I want you to persuade me to buy this and not buy a metal door, what would you tell me? Your metal door? Your metal door will rot in 45 years. This is a lifetime. This will outlive you. So far. you're telling me, guarantee me this is going to last me like this. If it doesn't, I will come a person to fix it and replace it. Thank you. Appreciate that. So this is amazing stuff. So at first, I was thinking it's hand carved, which would have sent the cost higher. It's so terrible. high, so high. So I am a fan. I'm a firm believer that guy and you should have my stuff. Yes, yes. So I'm making this very affordable to the everyday person. Not only guys, everybody in general, right? Exactly. So um, congratulations with this. I wish you all the best. And this is going to go very far in this country, bro. Cheers. Right? All the best, man. Take care. We have over 300 designs you can choose from. So how can people uh, make contact to you? My Facebook page. Everybody knows me. Here's my card. If you can share that with you. Okay. So if, I, if they want to go on Facebook, they can find this brand on Facebook? Yeah. Zaya Decor. Uh, there's a telephone number by chance you can give us? Uh, 641 620. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Take care. You look like you get a sales. Asuria also is here, insurance company. So, so I'm gonna hold you accountable for your words. I'm gonna hold you accountable. So when when you say that, tell me why you think so. Go ahead. I think so because number one. We care about our customer. The end result is our customer satisfaction. This satisfaction means that when you receive the service from Asuria, you must go away believing that what you purchased will do the work for you. Your goal, your aspirations will be accomplished because you purchased a product from Asuria. So, that is why we so for, for those who don't know about Asuria, what is Asuria? Now, Asuria? What do you guys specialize in? Asuria specializes in all types of insurance. We specialize in life insurance, fire insurance, motor insurance. In the 10 years of our existence, we became the number three company in motor insurance. 
This is not to brag or to boast. In the world or in the country? In the country. In the country. Thank you, sir. All right. This is not to brag or to boast. This is to indicate to you the seriousness that we play, we pay, the emphasis that we pay on our customer satisfaction. Amazing. Every year, we arrive with new ideas, we come up with new ideas to better benefit our customer, to come up with better services, better products, better innovations to benefit our customer. Well said, gentlemen. So, so tell me something else. Um, accessibility. To your knowledge, behind your head, roughly how much location or branches yeah, around the country? Eight locations. Eight right. locations, that's a right. lot. Thank you for your time, Great. sir. I appreciate you. Great. Thank you. So, uh, Full Works is also here at the Expo. So, when we hear Full Works, we think about car parts, car racing, uh, importation of car. What is Full Works doing here? Full Works is doing windows. Windows. You guys are Blue Spring Water. See, that is information yeah, um, for me. I didn't know that. We do here. Um, come on. So, oh yes. Yeah, so, full work. Uh, also, you guys provide containers. Yes. Containers in, in that aspect. So, I'm gonna have a look at some. Yeah, no problem. So, they are also specialized in empty container. I see they're doing boxes also. So, you know. Every time we hear about full works, car and car parts come to mind. But this is another aspect of full works all by itself. So I'm gonna thank this gentleman for his time. Yeah, Cheers, brother. Yes, that is a water. I drink a lot, right? So he's telling you guys this is one great water and you guys should support this. And it's local, it's 100 percent Guyanese, right? Support local man. Cheers. Thanks. Masigias is also here, which is excellent. They're participating. So, so much is here, so much is happening. The, this is where I take my leave, guys. So, we had enough. We saw what we came to see. Um, no Suki Suki was present, which is very good. Nothing wrong. I didn't get to find any food, but my time here is over, and I don't want to burden you guys with too much of long, drawn out lengthy walk around and interviewing people which i'm not here for i just came to see who's participating and the printer so we saw uh, quite a bit a uh, much and we got i'm gonna take my leave now so thank you guys for uh tagging along with me it's been an honor it's my pleasure and join us for another episode of little guyana by two pool and family i'll give you a 360 before i leave so soon as i told you guys i'm leaving and i'm saying goodbye um somebody else just say hi to me and i cannot go without asking them what they're offering uh to the Guyanese people so we're at massey gas product and what's your name sir dave dave so dave tell me what is unique about massey gas product one of the standout thing well in essence Guyana lives on massey gas right we're cooking gas oxygen we live we, we breathe and we, we, we yes we rotate everything. around gas yeah we have all the industrial gases, we have our cooking gases. Does, does the, I'm going to stop you quickly, does Masi offer gas to the hospitals also? All the hospitals in Guyana, we supply them. Oh, you supply them? We supply them. Okay. All the industrial, the um, oxygen, yeah. we supply them. So Masi basically, when you hear the name cooking gas come to mind, they are the biggest in the country when it comes to right. cooking gas. I'm going to put you on the spot and I'm going to hold you accountable now. Why? I mean, I have it a uh, 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 general sense of why, but I want to hear it from the lion's mouth. Why has gas price risen so high from 3500 or 3200 straight up to about 47 I'm going to hold you accountable now and give me your best reason for that. No problem. So the gas price, we are not in control of it because we are a repackaging plant. We purchase the gas in bulk and we repackage it. So. We are influenced by world market international prices based on the war and that whole situation. That is what actually influences the gas prices. So does freight also have a play, play impact on it? Exactly. Shipping, you have the, the um, prices overseas, the, um, how high it is. It's a mixture of everything. So in essence, we don't really have a much much of a say in terms Over of Over it, yeah. We have to do work with whatever we get. What is available. So that is a lot of question on Guyanese mind these, there, these days.
the, the prices of cooking gas is very high and I, sh I sure that what you just said there is going to help them to have a clear understanding the reason for that. Right. So I thank you for your time, sir, no and I appreciate you, man. Thank Take you. care. Yeah.